everyone, welcome back to Fresh and Healthy YouTube. And today we are talking about principle number three. I hope you guys have loved this series so far. It seems like you have I've gotten great feedback. Um, if you've missed the first two principles and the intro video of this intuitive eating series, I'll link those down below. Um, and also I have a book out now on my story and how I overcame my eating disorder and so that will also be linked below. But let's just get to principle number three, making peace with food. All right, so this is the one where we make peace with all foods, all kinds of foods, everything. There's no labeling of good or bad. There's no, I can't have this, I can only have this. Um, Cause that just, in the end, all that's going to do is make you crave that food more and could also lead to binging in the end, which is gonna destroy the whole listening to our hunger signals and body. Um, so intuitively, if you want that piece of chocolate cake, you can let yourself have it. Um, we have to make peace with all food. Like for me, it was more of, I didn't ever want to eat like a real dessert. It was more of like, I would have to have a healthier dessert or frozen yogurt, not real ice cream. And so whenever I would get around real ice cream, I would overeat it because I would be like, oh my goodness, I'm never going to be able to have this again because I don't let myself have this. Um, so making peace with all kinds of foods, whatever fear food that is for you, make peace with it today. Make peace with it, say, I can have you if I want. And that way, if you want it one night, you can have it and you can treat yourself. Um, of course, like going along with this intuitive eating principle, this isn't like, okay, so go gorge on ice cream or go eat ice cream every single night or whatever. It's more about listening to your body and saying you can have it. Um, there's no can'ts, there's no, I can't have this, I can't have that. Um, again, no diet mentality. But with this intuitive eating, yes, you are going to have to try to make nutritious decisions for the most part and be aware of nutrition, but at the end of the day, allow yourself freedom to have whatever you want. So it's not like a free for all, oh, just go binge on everything or go have everything or only eat desserts now. Um, make nutritious decisions for the most part, but then allow yourself the freedom if you want that cookie, if you want that piece of chocolate cake, if you want that bowl of ice cream, that piece of pizza for dinner. No saying like, oh, but that's not nutritious, it doesn't have enough protein or it has too much fat or anything like that. Um, you just have to live a little and give yourself that freedom. So the takeaway from this is making peace with all food and your challenge today that I'm gonna leave you off with, number one, commenting down below what your fear foods are and number two, challenging yourself this week to at least have one or two of those foods and just make peace with it. Make peace with it, have it in your house so you know that it's okay, I can have it, it's there if I want it. And just challenge yourself to eat it every once in a while. So until next time, click the thumbs up if you like this video. Hope you guys have loved this series. Go check out the links below if you haven't seen the other parts of the series. I love your guys' support, bye now. So today we're gonna to talk about principle number two, and that is to honor your hunger. All right, honoring your hunger is a big one because this is what will allow you to follow every other principle.